<laughs> Die, you weed! Die! Do you like dandelions? Well, I don't. I hate them. Die, you weed! I choke you to death! And today's show is going to be a little bit different than our normal how-to serious do things type of program. If you hold the dandelion under your chin and it turns yellow, well, an old wives tale would say that you like butter. And if you blew on the puff, whatever seeds were left, they also used to say that's how much luck you'll have at the end of the year. Do you like dandelions? Come in and get a close up, move in. I hate them. And they're taking over and corrupting my lawn. And I have a plan. Should we put the whole thing in? Put yeah. the whole thing. We're here today to slay, kill, murder, punish, execute, eradicate, and nuclear devastate <laughs> dandelions. The purpose of this video is for entertainment purposes only. The procedures used in this demonstration to kill, maim, and torture weeds may or may not work. Just remember, all of the knucklehead stuff done in this video will be performed by trained professionals. Don't do this at home unless you're crazy. And your home insurance will cover it. Unless you eat dandelions in your salad, or you make butter, or dandelion wine, or medicine from it, you hate them as much as I do. I'm gonna get these three with this. I don't know the Latin names for these dandelions, nor do I know how to pronounce them. But the words are on the screen there for you, so you can pronounce them yourself. But here they lie, or here they lay. But you're gonna lay dead, whatever you are, when we're done with you. <laughs> See this dandelion? Big green weed. And this weed? With the puffball? P for puffball. Now that we identified the two types of weeds that we'll be targeting, let's talk about some of the items in our cart. Coming in first, a yellow wheelbarrow to carry all the stuff we'll be using today. Coming in second. Me, get out of shot. A shovel to dig up the weeds and remove most of the roots from the ground. Number three, a long screwdriver to bluntly stab the weeds to death. Number four, a weed whacker to whack the weeds down to the dust. <laughs> and coming in fifth is an ax. Not a ax, but an ax to murder the weeds roots deep in the ground. It's our plan to cause so much trauma to the weeds root system that it'll never grow back. Number six, a vacuum cleaner to suck up dandelion seeds to prevent them from reproducing. Number seven, hot boiling water. Number eight, concentrated weed killer spray mixed inside this spray tank. Number nine, a firecracker to blast at the kingdom come. And of course, finally, a flamethrower for nuclear devastation. Don't forget to wear rubber gloves and safety goggles for protection. <laughs> and while some weeds will die today, others may not. First off, Let's try and kill this weed by chopping it to death with an ax. And then dismembering the parts with a shovel. <laughs> the theory is, if you chop it enough and just leave it there, will it eventually just die out because you abused it so much? I hope so. Some roots can grow as deep as three feet. <coughs> It's important to kill the weed's entire root so it doesn't come back to life. What's the word I usually say? Oh. Oh. Let's murder this one with a screwdriver. Oh. 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 Die, die, you horrible infestation. Penetrating the root, chopping it into minuscule pieces, and leaving it there to rot and suffer. For the next weed, a dandelion with a pretty puffball. Well, we'll just vacuum up the seeds to prevent it from. Is it 
German, German, germinating? Germinating? What's the right word? Hey, eight-year-old camera kid, what? What's the right word? Germination or germination? Or? Why don't you ask Siri? Oh, that's a good idea. Hey Siri, what is germination? Germination is the process by which an organism grows from a seed or similar structure. Do you want, want me to, to keep reading? Oh, absolutely. Go ahead. Go ahead. The term is applied to the sprouting of a seedling from a seed of an angiosperm or gymnosperm, the growth of a sporling from a spore, such as the spores of fungi, ferns, bacteria, and the growth of the pollen tube from the pollen grain of a seed plant. Here, here's a piece of tape. Okay. Let's use that in the edit. And did you know that one dandelion puff could have more than 150 seeds and one seed can grow 100 dandelions. Now while this probably won't kill the weed or remove its 6 inch to 36 inch deep roots from the ground, it does look cool when you suck up the dandelion seeds with a vacuum cleaner. Why am I doing a stupid thing like using a vacuum cleaner to suck up weeds? Because I can. Make sure the ground is completely dry and there's no morning dew or any type of water on the ground. Otherwise, you'll get electrocuted. Another way to mess with weeds is to pour hot boiling water on it and to turn it into green mush. A firecracker to blast it to kingdom come. Ah. Or you can use a flamethrower to nuke the seeds into a crisp. <laughs> Although using a flamethrower will not kill the weed all the way down to the root, it does look cool, especially in slow motion ah. Ah. or you can make your way it. <laughs> Now let's use a weed spray killer that kills only weeds, not the grass. We'll check these weeds out in the week to see the before and after results. But seriously, if you want a nice lawn with minimal or no weeds, according to Scott's, the most effective way to rid your yard of dandelions and other weeds is to treat the entire thing with a weed and feed product like their turf builder. If you want a beautiful lawn, mow your grass high, not low. Don't bag it. Leave the grass clippings behind to form a natural compost to fuel, feed, and strengthen the lawn. Why is it that some people have dandelions all over the lawn and their neighbor doesn't? It's the way you take care of your lawn. Dandelions is a sign of a problem in your lawn, not just infestation. It's how you take care of it. If you need to spot treat areas missed by broad chemical or organic treatments, you can use a product like Ortho's Weed Be Gone Weed Killer, which kills more than 250 weeds without harming your lawn. Overseeding having a strong lawn will prevent dandelions from growing. Look at this. I'm seeding and I see these guys. Yeah, you can go crazy pulling this stuff out, right? But at least I'm overseeding, and later, once the grass grows, I'll fertilize it with a Scott turf builder and get rid of these guys. For Indie Tommy tips and how to get even with the weeds in your lawn, I'm Tommy. Thanks for watching. 
please subscribe and share with friends.